I'm going to show you how they manipulate you and why they don't like shows like ours. The Indian Express reports selectively zoomed in video by Republican Twitter account shows Biden being lost on stage after oh, speech. Okay. For what reason is the headline of this NewsGuard certified outlet saying selectively zoomed in video by Republican Twitter account? Why don't they just say video shows Biden being lost on stage after his speech? They can't do it. I mean, it's they not, have they have to prime it. Right. It's not just the, the well. It's Bingo. not just the reporters. Uh, people don't understand like it, it's the editors. It's it's the people who who write the headlines. You know, you, look, well, we used to be straight news stories and everything is now an editorial. Look at this. They, the NewsGuard is like they actually put the logo in wow. the story. Hey, Wild. look at that. Well, just uh, real quick. I'm going to pull up this story from TimCast so you can all see that we here at TimCast IRL, we're an opinion show, but our home base website, TimCast.com, is also certified by NewsGuard. Okay there. All right, Indian Express, selectively zoomed in. They've poisoned the well because the reality is Joe Biden got lost on stage and we will say it. And now they're saying, oh, he's saying it again. How do we get him to stop? It's simple, guys. Just call me and offer me the $100 million already. <laughs> I'm kidding. They can't stop us. They can't. Um, we don't break the rules. We try very much to make a family-friendly show, debunking the lies and exposing this manipulation. The most important thing here, and the one thing they really don't like, is that we are outright exposing how they're poisoning the well to make you see this and say, Republican, Republican equals fake news. Yep. No, the reality is there's a video outright show. Look at here you go. Let me play the video for you and you tell me what you think. I'm not gonna tell you what to think. You, you here's the video. There you go. Where's he going? What's he doing? Oh, other way? No? Huh? Down? Oh. Uh, no? Mr. President, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love I'll that. Part, yeah. <laughs> Still stuck. Thank you. What's he doing? Still stuck. But what? for all the millions. What's he doing? Whose lives will be saved. You're zoomed too far in, Tim. You got to zoom out. Like what is this? President He's not lost. Because like the President camera doesn't know what to do. Yes, he's lost. Now look, he's not lost in the sense of like, where am I? What building is this? He's lost in the sense of. He is confused and doesn't know what's going on or what to do. So when you come out and you're like, man, he looks lost. It could mean like lost in the jungle, or it could mean he doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing right now. Right. And so they say it's manipulation, but look at his hands. Look when he walks away from the podium. What's he doing with this Mr. Burn hands? He, he, he looks like Ricky Bobby in Talladega Nights when he's doing that interview. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, right. But he's like, what is this? Well, I think what's happening in that video, and I don't know for sure, but it seems to me that Joe Biden is sort of looking off camera to some handler in the back of the room. Like, what am I supposed to do yeah. next? You know, because they probably primed him for this. Like, oh, you're going to go up there, you can give a speech, and then you're supposed to sit down or whatever, and Joe Biden just forgot. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what happened. He probably yeah. just doesn't know. And I mean, exactly. And it's not the first time we've seen this. We've seen this like over and over and over and get again. But what like the media wants to do is like, like, what are you going to believe? You're going to believe Tim, or you're going to in your in your lying eyes? You're going to believe us? Look at G Prime eighty five in the in the responses. This is a man I would follow into the trenches. <laughs> he would know where to go. What the heck? So I'll tell you. I'll tell you why they're mad. I'll tell you why they're pissed. Because uh, I had someone comment on my Facebook and it was a moment of lucidity, a moment of honesty and clarity. And I was, I was impressed. It was a leftist. And there were people saying things like, you're a grifter. And this one person said, the reason we hate you so much is because you're shattering consensus reality. Yes. And I went, yeah, okay. I, I, I agree with that. That is an incredible compliment. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. Um, but in, in their mind, they're like, everyone must agree, no matter what. And so uh, I love the idea. So now I'm working on a song called Consensus Reality, and you know, or maybe a concept album or something. But I'm like, at least they're honest, but that actually explains what's going on. We see a video of Joe Biden with his hands confused, and he's like doddering about confused. We see videos of him reaching out his hand to shake someone's hand, but there's nobody there, and then he looks confused. We see him on stage in the debates before he even got elected, with his teeth falling out. His eyeball popped too. His eyeball that popped in blood. Ball. Blood's out. <laughs> yeah. So here's, yeah. the, here's the issue. You know what I care about? I like Julian Assange. I care about knowing the truth and people having the ability to make decisions for themselves based on 
the best information they can get. I don't care what you do with your life. Just don't hurt other people. And that's that's the right way to go about things. Let me give you information to the best of my abilities that's accurate so you can survive. Hey, learn how to have chickens, learn how to have goats. Watch out. There might be a recession coming, all that good stuff. And then you do you, I do me. They don't like that because they think if you shatter confidence in Joe Biden during a time of war with Russia, you're putting our efforts at risk. If you come out and question the Ukrainian propaganda and and and, and don't toe the line 100 percent, because I'll quite I don't, I don't trust Vladimir Putin either. But I'm not going to sit here and believe all the garbage lies they spew about Ukraine just so I march behind war.